Hi there. I met with Q15T and we're going to look at what happens with a page between when you start to draft it and when you finally publish it. We'll look at previewing it before you publish it. We'll look at publishing it now or in the future. We'll look at publishing it as a blog post. And of course, we'll look at how you can restrict the content before publishing it so you can control who can see it once it's ready. Let's take a look. When you create a page, any page, anywhere, it is in a draft state. A draft is where you're there working on it. It looks a lot like when you've opened a document and you start just writing in there, or you have a piece of paper on your desk that you're just writing on with a pencil. The key difference is that draft page is not available for everybody else in Confluence to read. It's just available for you or anybody that you share the draft with. This is the state of the page where you're working on it and it's not ready for the real world, not yet. The second stage is publishing. When a page is published, it's available to everyone who has permissions to view it in Confluence, as long as they're not restricted from it. And we'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. As you're working on your page as a draft, you might wanna look at what is the thing actually gonna look like when you publish it. Because while the editor is pretty accurate to what people will see, it might be slightly different. So you can jump over to the more actions menu and you can select preview. There's also a great keyboard shortcut for that. And in the preview, you can see the actual page exactly as it will be when you publish it. This is great to just sort of double check that yes, everything looks exactly the way I want it to. And you can hit the edit button here to jump back to your page and continue working on it. I wanna also point out what happens to your draft page when you hit the close button here, or if you close out of the tab and forget to come back to the page, these don't disappear, they they live on forever as draft pages, which you can find right on your home screen. It's pretty easy, let me show you. So here I am on my home page, and right here in this pick up where you left off section, I can see all the pages I've worked on recently and whether they're in draft status or they've been published. This is great because I know that there's work that I've done on these pages that other people can't see yet. There's also this draft button down here, which I can use to, oh my gosh, look at all of my draft pages. It seems I have forgotten about a few of them. There is a filter up top, which is great for if you're looking for a particular one, or you can use these views over here on the right hand side to uh, get a better look at those. In this case, I might actually need to use this list to go and delete some that I no longer need. And you can delete a draft pretty easily from the editor. So if you go to the more actions menu again, you can see the delete unpublished page option. And that will just confirm, are you sure you want to delete this page? It has not been published, you will lose it all. And in this case, yes, <laughs> I do not want this draft to hang around forever. One other thing to consider before publishing your page is who you want to see it. So by default, Confluence makes all pages that are published available to everyone. And that's how it should be probably 98% of the time. But there are sometimes pages with sensitive information or maybe pages where even though it is published, you don't want it visible to everyone yet. And in that case, you can restrict the page to only certain people or people in certain groups. To be able to do this, you do need to pay for Confluence, either the Confluence standard plan or above, but then you can hit the padlock button here to select who should be able to see the page. Now, of course, when you're ready to publish your page, you can hit this publish button or there's a great keyboard shortcut for that as well. When you click that, the page will be made available to everyone. It'll be visible in search results and in the page tree, just the way every other great Confluence page is. Or if I go to more actions, once again, I have the schedule publish option. This is really great because maybe you've prepared a page that you wanna be available in the future. You can select the date, and time that you want it to be published and hit schedule. And then that will be made visible to everybody at the right time. Another thing you might wanna do is if your page is a great timely piece of information for everyone in the space, maybe you wanna publish it as a blog instead of a page. So what you can do is go into the more actions menu and select publish as blog. This will publish the page immediately as a blog post. So just make sure you're ready. So there are lots of different ways to publish your Confluence page. The main thing to remember is once you've published it, make sure you share it with everybody. And don't forget about those draft pages. 
they get lonely. Speaking of forgetting, I would hate for you to forget that we keep adding new videos to our YouTube channel all the time. So if you hit that little subscribe button, that'll make sure that you get updates every time we put even more of the best on our channel. And of course, this is just publishing pages in Confluence. There is so much more you can do. So jump into another video in this course as we continue to explore using the Confluence editor to share what you do best.